Trader Joe's. It was so much fun to go to Trader Joe's for the first time. I was so excited to try a bunch of these things and I found most of the things that I wanted to try, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I'm gonna show you first the things from the freezer so that I can put those away. So I got four items from the freezer section. First were these cooked shrimp. Very boring, but I love shrimp. Um, my husband doesn't, so these will be for me. And then I also saw these organic acai puree packets. So I thought we could start making our own acai bowls at home because I do really love a good acai bowl. Um, so I thought this was fun to try. And then these are two things that I didn't know in advance that I would like to buy. So luckily I found them. First is the barbecue teriyaki chicken. So this is in the freezer section and I'm very excited to try this. Uh, I heard that it's very good, so let's see. And the same goes for the Stranger Joe's Gone Bananas Dark Chocolate Covered Banana Slices. So cute with a little monkey <laughs> on the back too. I think these look so good, uh, such a good like little snack. Especially in this Miami heat, it's great to have a cold snack. So I'm excited about those. Let's get started on this other stuff. Um, I will start with some boring things. We got some hand soap because we were running out. So just the lemon kitchen hand soap and the lavender chamomile hand soap for the bathroom. This is something I really wanted to try because I saw someone online uh, having these. These are the Trader Joe's Almost Everything Bagels. These apparently have 10 grams of protein per bagel, which I think is so great. So yeah, I'm excited to see if they're very nice. I do already know Dave's Killer Bread bagels. So I'm excited to see if these are better or different. Of course, for in Trader Joe's, I also had to look at the spice mixes. I had to get everything but the bagel seasoning. I love this. I've had this before because my brother and my father actually took it back. Um, to me in the Netherlands when they went to Washington DC so they especially went to Trader Joe's to get this for me because I wanted it so bad so I know that this is good so I'm excited to have this here and then I also got this because I heard that it's very good on shrimp that's why I also wanted to get the shrimp it's the Trader Joe's Cuban style citrusy garlic seasoning blend and I got this Trader Joe's Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. It looks like there's seaweed, oh, white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, seaweed, salt, and kelp powder. So I think that's gonna be very nice. We make a lot of like poke bowls, so I think this is gonna be great on top of that. Then we got a bunch of different drinks. First, I got this banana and almond butter protein smoothie. There's quite a lot of calories in this and not that much protein in my opinion but uh, I did hear that this is very good so that's why I wanted to try it then for some more drinks I heard someone talk about the Trader Joe's apple cider vinegar drinks so I got this in two flavors I got the lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar beverage and the elderberry and pomegranate that looks very good too I'm excited about that then my husband found this and really wanted to try it. This is the Trader Joe's Sparkling Coconut Water with Yuzu. We really love Yuzu. So I'm excited to see if this is nice. And I saw this. This is the Trader Joe's Rhubarb and Strawberry Soda. Sparkling beverage made with tart rhubarb and strawberry juice. This looks so good. We got one of the salad kits. I wanted to try one of those because I did get like a salad kit at Whole Foods um, and I really really like that one so I wanted to try another one at Trader Joe's. This is the Avocado Ranch Salad Kit. Um, I heard that ranch is very typically American from one of my husband's colleague's fiance <laughs> who is also here so I'm excited to try ranch dressing in this salad kit. And then I got some snacks because of course we need some snacks. We got just some very boring dry roasted unsalted almonds. And then, pièce de résistance, we got dark chocolate covered espresso beans. And I also got these, coffee lovers espresso beans, chocolate covered espresso beans inspired by your favorite sweet coffee combinations. So, very excited. I've actually had these before because my friend Rachel actually introduced me to them. Um, so this was also on my list of something that I really wanted to find, but I have tried
tried these before and I love them. They're so good. So I'm excited to have some more of these. And I'm not sure what flavors these are supposed to be, but they look very good. So that is everything I got at Trader Joe's. I thought it would be interesting to show you or to tell you um, the total I spent. I spent $70.35. Yeah, this is everything I got in my first trip to Trader Joe's. I'm excited to try everything.